Hey boys and girls in video land, it's Laborton. How you doing? It is February 1st. January is done. Um, I don't know about you, but I did a video every day in January. Um, actually, probably more than one video a day. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try and keep the streak going. So I'm going to do a video every day in February, March, April, May. We'll see how it goes. Um, part of our go live every day challenge or... Uh, Go live when you can might be a better way to put it. Um, but what I wanted to share today was some cool stats and um, info on the state of video marketing in 2018. So I'm going to share uh, an infographic that my friends sent me. Um, I know the guy's name, but I can't remember the company name, so I better go back and find out. Uh, but I will do that in a second. So let me share my screen and show you the state of video marketing infographic um, from the people at Bread and Beyond. Bread and Beyond. So thank you for sending me this. Um, I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit here so I can show you what's what. Ooh, that looks good. So basically, it's no secret that uh, video is taking off. A few of the findings in this recent study, um, some of them are a little more obvious than others. Uh, costs of social media ads will increase. That's really no surprise. Um, it says that Facebook ads went up 74% in 2017. So, uh, But what can you do? I mean, if Facebook isn't showing you stuff to folks, you got to pay to play. That's one of the trends I talked about recently. Also, mobile optimization, it's really going to be important that uh, all of your websites and uh, content looks good on mobile uh, as well, because uh, uh, as they say here, 69% of digital media engagement happens on mobile platforms. This also says marketers will start to use the Facebook creator app, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, vertical ads. This is something that's interesting. The vertical ads um, is really pretty big on Facebook again because of mobile. And, and those of us who came from the TV industry, it's like kind of sacrilege to shoot ads in a vertical manner, but it's just the way it's being done these days. So we got to uh, learn to uh, flip the landscape and go vertical. It's just the way that people are viewing stuff now. And again, coming from the TV business, it's like but you got to do what the audience wants. Uh, marketers and C-suite execs will start uploading explainer videos to their LinkedIn profiles. It's about time. Oh, Siri's talking back to me. But let's get into the, uh, the pretty stuff here because we like colors and infographics and pretty things. 61% of customers rely more on companies that are inclined to create custom and individualized content. Um, that's the personalization aspect that I've been talking about for the last couple months, personalizing the viewer's experience, the uh, user's experience. Um, when it comes to video, that means doing more one-on-one -on -one videos, video emails, video follow-ups. I use Loom for that quite a bit, it, use loom.com. Uh, it says that 88% of content marketing professionals are considering adding personalization elements into their plans. So, um, yep, we know that. Live video on social channels would become a more important content strategy. That's why we're doing these live videos. Um, we already know, I've shared this with you before, but it's worth repeating, that video content earns 12 times more shares than text and images combined. So that's pretty impressive. Um, that's a lot. So... Um, and it says that viewers retain 95% of a message when they see it in a video, but only retain 10% of it when they see it in text. So very compelling reasons to do video and very compelling reasons to do live video. I'll post this entire infographic um, below or, or link to it at least so you can check it out. Um, it's pretty and... Um, it's interesting. It's got some really interesting stuff in here that you can use as you create your videos and as you create your marketing plans for 2018. Um, this says that short-lived video content will increase in popularity. So that's like Instagram, Snapchat, 
stuff like that. So Instagram stories, it says, has a narrower, narrower, can't say that word from being from Boston, narrower reach, uh, but a much greater urgency resulting in better engagement rates. So like I said, I'll put this infographic on um, my timeline below here so you can check it out because there's really some uh, cool stuff in here that's going to be really helpful for you to um, as you make your marketing plans for 2018. Uh, let me come back on screen here for a sec. Oops, there we go. So um, that's pretty much it. I wanted to share this infographic with you. I'll put a link to it below. Um, what else is cooking? Um, just a lot of cool stuff. So my one day video marketing live workshop in Los Angeles is coming up in about a month. There's only a couple days to get in on the early bird price. Where's my graphic? There it is, video marketing live, Tuesday, March 6th, Santa Monica, California. Um, we sold another bedroom in our Tuscany video marketing retreat. Awesome, so we only have a couple left. Uh, so things are chugging along. Um, thanks again for watching. Check out the infographic. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it. We gotta uh, connect again soon. One of these days, it's been too long. So um, check out that infographic. I'll put the link below. And um, that's it. We'll see you next time on a video a day. A video a day every day in 2018. It's February. We're still going strong. And I uh, hope you're having a great week. And I uh, hope you have an awesome February. Bye for now.